How did this project get started? And whoever wants to dive in first can. We all won at the World Beer Cup. We all, um, in the past like four years, only only three breweries have won, and it just happens to be us. We all happen to be good friends, and uh, I'm a I'm a fan of uh, I don't know pushing aggressive big ideas, and uh, you know we're all craft beer fans, and it's always great to see one collab. So really, kind of celebrating the World Beer Cup win. We all you know. For all the age coming together, uh, three breweries, three tap room parties, um, but then also uh, tap tap takeovers all over the city. Um, it's uh, pretty ambitious, pretty wild. But thanks to these guys and a bunch of partners, uh, uh, we're pulling it off. How, how are you guys each involved in making this beer? So when we when Tom originally reached out to us and said, "Hey, let's go ahead and let's do a collaboration." You know, we sat down and, you know, put all our heads together when it come from a brewing perspective and came up with a style, number one, um, went back and forth with the different styles we wanted to use. And then we decided, let's go ahead and do this collab once we can find the space. You know, obviously we did the, the collaboration at No Label Brewing Company because of the size and we each picked a piece of it. So, you know, we came up with the with the grains, we came up with the with the hops and the yeast and we split it up amongst the three breweries. We all got together and had a really good time brewing that beer and uh, it was really fun. Michael, what was your what was your part of this? Right, so uh, we we brought the hops. <laughs> 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 no, uh, so uh, we've uh, we've had a fair share of our uh, our hand in the hazies. Uh, this ended up being a hazy pale ale. We had recently uh, released a uh, very similar beer or similar in nature anyway. Um, so, uh, we kind of came when, when we decided on that, uh, that particular beer and the approach there, um, you know, we, we thought it was a good fit. So we had a, a lot of good input on that end. And then we came away with some accolades on this last world beer cup. And that was great. But we looked back and said, Hey, you know, we're all from these different regions. Um, and then we went out to a number of bars that, uh, again, were in different areas that, you know, we didn't want to just service one location. It was really something that kind of spread all around the uh, greater uh, Metroplex area that, um, you know, we, we sought to kind of bring in and we serve as kind of that center point here in the downtown area to kind of bring everybody inside the loop back, uh, back into and outside the loop from, from their respective areas as well. We're, all three breweries are in uh, different places. You know, we're in very West Houston, West of Houston, uh, Val is in Pearland, uh, very South. And then, uh, you know, True Anomaly is right there. You know, it's, you know, downtown Houston. Um, so we come, we represent all these different areas, but uh, so for all of the age was really to hit all of Houston. And that's why with, uh, we're doing these tap, seven tap takeovers uh, uh, at Spring, Texas and Bolsher and Clear Lake, really trying to hit all the areas of Houston outside of uh, our tap rooms. And uh, it's been, a, it's been a, quite the undertaking uh, from all our sales teams, uh, but, um, it's been a hell of a week to see all our friends all across the city, like, like, like come out and it's not over yet. So. Yeah. yeah we actually have ours today. Uh, we have our release. So we're going to be um, selling um, six packs of the for all the H in the tap room. We have a release party at balance spring company today, starting at five o'clock. we got a band coming in. It's going to be a, it's going to be a fun party. And then I think there's another one on Friday at the growler spot in Fulcher. And then Saturdays at true anomaly um in you know what uh, duck's place so it's it's gonna be a lot of fun and as as tom alluded to it's been a it's been a rough week but we're getting all over the place and you know it's it's been a blast to see everybody you know it's been a while to do this it's been important i think everybody's coming out for it which is really supportive of for all of age so it's really cool i don't know that i've ever heard of a of a three-part collab is that something that happens often um it's hard enough to do uh a collab with just two breweries uh yeah. But Val and I, we have a, a, a good relationship. It was good history. Um, and, uh, and Val comes from NASA, and a lot of the True Anomaly guys come from NASA too. So there's a, kin there's a friendship there. And uh, so luckily it was the three of us because we all get along well. And uh, this has been pretty easy. But no, they are very rare and can often be a huge pain in the butt. <laughs> Yeah, but I think it's a uh, it's important that we 
we reached out so far to to include be inclusive as much as we can and you know maybe if we continue this tradition we can pull in other breweries and other areas of town because at the end of the day you know i think most craft brewers have the same concept of you know kind of rising tide lifts all ships and we're just trying to bring more attention to to craft beer and the quality products that we're putting out and uh you know the the community that it builds after all of these tap takeovers and parties at the individual breweries are people going to be able to get for all the uh, ages? Well, for this round, um, we went, we ended up doing, a, I think it was a 15 barrel uh, funnel. And so we have it pretty much packaged um, and spread around Houston and in the tap rooms. Um, will we brew this again? Absolutely. I think we will. Uh, we've done it other collabs between no label and balancings. Uh, we did a spot IPA and that was fun. And we've done that every year around father's day. So I think this is definitely something that will continue on um, as we, you know, certain time of the year, whenever we can all get together again. Right. That being said, for right now, it's a limited release. So uh, I would encourage everybody to get out and get it while you can. Uh, probably won't won't last more than a week or two, uh, uh, more than likely. So for this go around, we've got a, a lot of, you know, positivity going into it, got the word out, and people seem pretty excited about it. This is a huge celebration of kind of uh, – bringing these World Beer Cups to the city. It's great to, especially still coming out of 2020 and 2021, just great to see um, everyone in the industry again, all our friends and and uh, partners. And uh, also coming off of the World Series win uh, for all the eights, just, I mean, everything's coming up Houston. So yeah, I think it's just a win for everyone. Excellent timing on the branding. <laughs> Sometimes it works out. Yeah. <laughs>